Mark Munoz and you're watching the MMA show. Welcome to the MMA show, I'm the Muscle Mole. Master Wang. I'm got pleased to announce. P from CP. Spy from Thailand, he's already living the dream. He looks as if he's lost about four stone. It's a good diet he's on. It's almost like the Akaberry diet that I'm on. It's good. Paying off big style. So, UFC 139, who we got? We've got Shogun Hua versus Hendo. Now, this is a fight I think needed to happen. Shogun and Hendo both fought a lot, obviously, in Pride, but they fought nearly all the Pride guys. That's one of the last fights to happen, really, for Pride. Shogun's fought, you know, he's fought your Overeem, he's fought Rampage, he's fought Little Nog. It just makes sense for him to fight Hendo, who incidentally is just off a big KO win, a Fedor. So I feel this is a fight that should happen, and now it is going to happen. Master Wang, tell me exactly what's going to happen. Well, H Hendo is probably the best fighter on the planet. Um, he's a wee guy for 205, but as he says, it's all about the heart. It's all about how big your heart is. Um, who was it was telling us that? A doctor. Somebody was saying that recently. It's all about the size of his heart. Now, Hendo has a huge heart. Hendo... It was Rashad Evans that Ra said that. Rashad Evans at 138 questions and answers when asked again about Warrior sort of stuff. He was talking about Dan Henderson. Dan Henderson is one of my favourite fighters. Two, two pride belts at the one time. Yep. Both weights, dual weights. Strike force, 185. Goes up to heavyweight and smashes a legend. He's fought the best. He's in a three-fight three win streak. All three wins by KO. Single punch, well, it's mostly big. Left shoulder tight, chin tucked, big overhand. Sometimes you, sometimes you see the yardstick. Oh, it's got the wrestling. I think, obviously, um, Shogun Hua has fantastic tie boxing. He's got fantastic uh, uh, grappling. But I honestly think he's no longer the man he used to be. Whereas Dan Henderson is always the man he needs to be. Um, and for that reason, I think Hendo's going to win via brutal KO. I think Shogun is, is still very good tie. When Master Wang says his grapple is good, I kind of disagree. His jiu jitsu is good. Jiu is good. He's BJJ. He has struggled in the past with wrestlers. Look how easily John Jones just threw him a bit like a ragdoll. Even the problems with Mark Coleman. In and terms Forrest of, Griffin. In terms of wrestling. Forrest Griffin in the first fight just overwhelmed him. That's something he will really need to watch. Hendo's problem I see in this fight, he's very flat footed. He's a plodder. He's just waiting on that one big haymaker. He could absorb quite a lot in the way in. I think Shogun moving, moving away, striking, could be very difficult for him. I just, I just can't pick between the two. So Master Wang, let me hear you go. Uh, Hendo all the way. I'm going to go Hendo as well. Just because Master Wang's picks at 138 were off the hook. Everyone on the ball. Nice. Is that an advert? You drink gives you power like hell. Check it out, enter the competition. Okay, ne next big fight the card. This card is stacked. We've got Vandalay Silva versus Kung Lee. Kung Lee was desperate to fight in this card, initially lined up to fight Vitor Belford. He's ended up fighting Vandalay. Master Wang, what's the score? The score is it asks a lot of big questions about what's happening with Strike Force. Kung Lee, all these people are coming over. You heard it here first, Strike Force is dead. They would not strip it bare like that and try to negotiate. Yeah, it's over him. But the Hendo. thing of the matter is, Henno, the thing of the matter is, Kung Lee has, fan if you don't know who he is, because a lot of you guys maybe never looked at Strike Force or never knew. Check out his crappy movies. He's got fantastic kicks. He, he is a very strong, one sided traditional martial arts base as well as an Taekwondo and San Shower. San Show. So he's got like a really sort of Kung Fu style kicking, he's got a Taekwondo style kicking, but he's also all rounded. He hits hard, he hits powerful, and it always creates a distance. Fighters don't want to engage him because he uses his kicks very well. He's quite old, he's 39, 7 and 1, which is a quite an impressive record. I think he wrestled it, although it looks like an Asian fighter, I think he basically grew up in America, oh, so he's got a big he's wrestling American. background, he's not easily put down, but the last time he lost was against Scott Smith. That's a guy who just comes, brings it in your face, tries to knock your head off, and that's exactly what Vandalay Silva brings. 
Having said that, I've real problems with Vanderlei still fighting. We both love the guy to bits, but he's won two of his last eight. He's lost three of his last four. And his last eight fights, he's been KO'd four times. That's getting very dangerously close, in my mind, to leaving serious permanent damage. He's only won two fights in the UFC, Bisping and Jardine. I think it's time for him to stop. But for that, not even for that reason, I think he should stop. But on the other hand, I still think he'll beat Kung Lee. Ho, ho, ho. Kung Lee all the way, my man. Kung Lee, first round, powerful kicks. It's going to win by a kick. Spinning heel hook reverse, just like Van Damme. Okay, I'm going to go Kung Lee, but no for any of that shit. <laughs> Check out our next sponsor. Hey, man, where did you get that great t-shirt? Why? www.countrymansfist.com Get yours the Countryman's Fist t-shirt You get a t-shirt like this Check the bad boys out California uh, You want a t-shirt like this, not that Massimo, you even get a B for a CB t-shirt yeah. now, I mean, You'll get them in the reduced bin and many petrol stations Check and them out in Thailand <laughs> <laughs> So who's the next fight? Who's the next fight? Okay, the next fight that we're going to talk about, again, it's, we're only speaking about three because the card's so stacked, it's Uriah Faber versus Brian Bowles. Who's Uriah Faber? Is he a, is he a noted fighter? Is he a... He's went around the block. Is that a California kid, is that That's what they call him? That's the very guy. Again, another guy with lots of energy, 100 mile an hour, great wrestling, cleft in the chin. Very, very hard to put away. you seen how destroyed his leg was after Aldo kicked the living crap out of that he, he leg. He was quite dominant in the WEC until he came up against Aldo. Aldo. That, that basically encouraged him to drop down away. He went to 135. He had a go there at Cruz for the title. Fell a bit short. Brian Bowles, 10-1. The only fight he lost is against Dominic Cruz. Although it's down as a TKO, it's actually broke his hand and he couldn't continue. So it's hard to judge against that who is. I'm going to go Brian, uh, Brian Bowles because I think Faber was successful but people are starting to surpass him now. I think Brian Bowles, quick in his feet, lots of combinations, all that good stuff. I think that's going to be the difference. It's just about to say, Faber, obviously, he's a fantastic all-rounder. He's all the skills. He's been in a hundred wars. I think in Bowles, this is a fantastic test to see where he really is. And if he beats Faber, then I think he's, you know, he's in a very upper epsilon. I think Faber was winning a lot of his fights just on sheer genetics. Naturally strong, naturally quick, like you watch a lot of the time. He's no slipping punches, he's just, do he's just dodging punches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just using speed, and unless you're Anderson Silva, that's not going to work forever. So for that reason, I'm going to say Bowles. Bowles. You had it here first, that's Brian Bowles. Get, we are. get on the internet bookies, put your money down, Master yeah. Wang is never wrong. <laughs> this is the MMA show dot info, check us out on our website, Facebook, Twitter, feel free to share, feel free to write some comments. Get your picks, we want to hear your picks. Yeah, interact, we reply, we talk, and to all the people who do write comments, thank you very much, it's much appreciated, we try to reply to them all, thank you. And me. you're also entering into the competition. Yeah, if you're in Scotland. Love you.